Hello and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV. I'm Hemok, and here with me is Mike. And today we're going to cover how you can share files on your home network uh, without an internet connection. So, Mike, uh, where do you begin? Well, Hemok, you know, it's, it's a misnomer that, that you need to have an internet connection mm -hmm. in order to share files. Right. Um, you know, you hear a lot about getting a router and, and a wireless router and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't know is that you can have a wireless network, you can share files between your computers or use a uh, shared storage device mm -hmm. without having to have an internet connection. Okay, so how do you go about doing that? Well, the first thing in this case, instead of a router, what you're going to want to use is a switch. Mm -hmm. So right here we have the DGS-2205. This is a, a five-port gigabit switch. Right. And uh, you can see that you just have five ports in the back there where you can plug in um, wired laptops or, or, you know, or, or wired desktop or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we also mentioned that you can do wireless. Mm -hmm. So you can take a access point. Mm -hmm. and this is similar to you know, a wireless router. It, it, you know, it may even look like a wireless router depending upon the model. Mm -hmm. um, but instead of actually taking a broadband connection on one end and you know, giving you your wireless and, and stuff on the other, it simply is an outlet for a wireless signal to come through. So you would plug in a cable here, you would plug this into your switch, mm -hmm. and now you can have you know, wireless clients using your wireless adapters and, and such on your network, um, sharing files and, and stuff like that. I see. So what, hap what about if you have different computers that are running, let's say, different operating systems, or if it's between a PC or a Mac? Well, that, that makes it a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, uh, you know, we're talking, well, for the sake of simplicity, let's just talk mm -hmm. about a Microsoft operating system. Mm -hmm. So, which is what most people, you know, probably have out there. The majority of people have, have a Microsoft operating mm -hmm. system. Um, there is built into Microsoft a, a file sharing um, system mm -hmm. where you can create a home network, and, and I think, you know, it, depending upon you your version. The wizard. Right, depending on your version of Windows, you know, there's a wizard that says, you know, name your home network, and I, you know, by default I think it's MS Home or something mm -hmm. like that. But what that does, when you do that, if you're connected, if all your PCs are connected um, through a switch and then wirelessly through an access point if you choose to, mm -hmm. you can share folders and files between the computers on your network. I see. And what is this for here? Well, this would even take it one step further. So this is a shared network storage device. Mm -hmm. um, with this, you can pop in a couple hard drives. SATA. SATA hard drives, exactly, uh, that you would purchase and put this onto your network. You know, you would connect it here, you would connect it into your switch. And then this could be a central place of storage for mm -hmm. your movies, for pictures, mm -hmm. uh, music, data, you know, anything you want to put on it. So basically, instead of having to run a PC all the time that has all your files in it, instead you could, have, you could get some hard drives in here, store all the files in here, and you, don't, you, you could utilize the PC for something different than you know, file sharing. Exactly. So in, in that case, instead of having to, you know, like you said, run a PC all the time or share files like directly between, you know, computer to computer, mm -hmm. which would, you know, get confusing, I mm -hmm. guess, if you have a lot of computers. Maybe, you know, your son has one, your daughter has one, mm -hmm. you have one, your wife has one. So with this, you can create folders mm -hmm. on this, um, you know, name them, and then you can all just share files on mm -hmm. this. But again, you can do all this without having to have an internet connection. Because right. I know, it's, you know, in some places, broadband internet isn't available, mm -hmm. and you know, those people might think, oh, "Well, I can't have a home network," but you can. Oh, great! So, is there anything else that you'd like to cover? No, well, I think that about does it. Great. So, again, if you use a network uh, attached storage device like this, mm -hmm. then you could also have a central location where you store all your uh, entertainment, like media, right, like right. MP3s. Mm -hmm. Music, movies. movies. So instead of having to duplicate files, it makes it much easier, right? Exactly. Great. Exactly. Thanks so much. Sure. So we just covered file sharing on your network. If you have more questions, just log on to dealing.com for more information. And please be sure to check out our other videos on dealingtv.com. Thanks again for tuning into Dealing TV. Until next time.